If you had to, to sort of look at the few hundred who are part of this caravan, how many do you think are legitimate asylum cases? I would say very few. I think the drug cartels, they, they train them to say the words uh, credible fear of, of persecution. And if they say those magic words, in many of these cases, the judge will allow them to stay in the country. It's very important for Congress to act because the American people now are going to see this caravan episode play out. And my prediction, Neil, is that many of the thousands now that are in detention space south of San Diego will end up staying in the United States. All right, we still don't know of a couple of hundred, and it, there's, there's no hard numbers on this, that have, a, a, you know, entered and, and gotten to this border. Uh, right now, uh, 14 asylum cases have been approved, uh, 28 in total processed here, but they're not all going to get that status. Uh, but uh, they have a right in this process, I, it surprised me, but I talked to a number of lawyers, to go through the process. They have a right to the process. Uh, they do not have a right to be approved. What happens after that? Anyone's guess. But North Carolina Republican Congressman Robert Benninger has an idea. In the meantime, it does necessitate a wall. And he thinks among those footing the bill should be a lot of these sanctuary cities and states. Congressman, good to have you. Hello, Neil. Happy I, afternoon. I do want to get into your idea on that wall thing. But first of all, on the processing of these individuals, many of them not from Mexico, but from points further south, majority from Honduras, they're making the claim that they're, they're seeking asylum here because they're endangered back home. How is that processed and done? How do we vote yay or nay on that? Well, they're supposed to be coming over on the basis that they're being persecuted for race, religion, a member of some special organization. And uh, so they make the claim, and they're trained to do that. About 80 percent of them are able to go through uh, that process right now. I think what our bill is saying that uh, it's a Secure America's Future Act, is that we need to have more validity, more proof of the fact that they are being persecuted. We just can't have somebody making a claim. All right. These are, uh, can certify hardship or whatever the legalistic language is. I'm sorry, I don't know, Congressman. It was 5,000 such cases who came to this country back in 2007 making that claim. Uh, and last year, better than 85,000. So obviously yes, that is something that many have latched onto. And I would imagine a good many not legitimately. Absolutely. Uh, that's the concern that we have, and that's why, frankly, we're initiating this legislation. Uh, the cartels are very adept in training uh, these individuals of what they need to be saying. And I, I think we need to have a clarification and more evidence and basis for why they should be able to seek asylum inside the United States. We're a nation of laws. We're a compassionate country. We want to be understanding and receptive to people who are truly going through persecution in their own country. But at the same time, we need to understand that people are seeking here and not always in our best interest. Our poorest borders are not just an immigration issue. They're a security issue. And I'm, I'm greatly concerned with that. I chair a congressional task force on terrorism and unconventional warfare, and I'm aware of those who are crossing our border. Separately, you're looking at ways to pay for this wall because this is the latest example. You say that uh, to necessitate it. Now, the president also uh, upped the number of uh, National Guardsmen along the border to deal with this latest influx here. But on the wall, Support. you have an interesting idea. Besides the $1.6 billion that's been committed up front in the latest spending measure, that maybe sanctuary states or cities pay for this. Could you explain? Yes, sir. We've got over 300 sanctuary cities, and we believe that certain grants going to those cities, not all of them, we want law enforcement to be able to be fully funded, but certain grants that would be going to the sanctuary cities, federal money, uh, should be withheld, and that money should be appropriated and used to help build that wall. All right. Any reaction from your colleagues? Well, we're, uh, we're circling the bill right now. We've had really good response, and I think it's logical. It makes a lot of sense. You know, my responsibility as a member of Congress is to secure and protect this country foremost, and I believe that this is a good and appropriate way, frankly, a fiscally responsible way, uh, to direct uh, the sanctuary cities, those who are not allowing our law enforcement to be there and to enforce and to prosecute uh, those individuals who are breaking the law. All right, sir, thank you very, very much.